before starting the actual physical compressive strength test. It is really necessary for us to determine the physical attributes of the material we are going to test like the length, width and thickness, also including the texture and build of the product. Weight is also very important to consider. Upon the initial investigation of the product we will be going to test, due to an evenness of the texture of the sample it is necessary for us to put capping on the top and bottom of the sample where it will fill the voids present in the surface to have a uniform load distribution when undergoing a compressive strength test. To resolve this issue liquefied easy to harden sulfur is poured on temporary assembled mold. Just make sure that the surface where you will set up the mold is level and flat. Ensure the even distribution of liquid sulfur on the sides of the bricks. Five minutes is enough for the sulfur to harden and cured. The same procedure will be applied on the other side of the sample. Sulfur is yellowish in color and seems like a solid wood when hardened. Three fourth to one inch is enough thickness for the hardened sulfur. Note that based from the technician's capping won't affect the overall performance or result of the test for the concrete brick. After minutes of curing demolding will take place. Prepared and conditioned sample will be set up to the calibrated compression machine. Setting up the sample should be done with care to secure that its property won't be disturbed that may result to big margin of error. The sample should almost exactly at the center of the bearing plate in contact. A bit by bit load will be imposed until it meets its compressive strength limit. Covering the sample during testing is necessary to prevent the spread of its parts when it cracks, burst or stressed. The premonition, when the brick is nearly to reach its limit is when it shows cracks, shearing sound and the like. This is also a soon moment that the testers should start recording and carefully imposed load to prevent the overlooking of the sample capacity and cease the process when shows the quite awaited time. Concrete pavers or bricks. Compression test technical specifications and results. Sizes are 200 mm length by 100 mm thick by 148 mm height with the corresponding weight in kilograms of 6.43 and gross area of 20,000 square mm. Having a maximum imposed load of 607,460 newton and compressive strength of 4,400 pounds per inches squared. This only concludes that our sample can carry heavy load in a load-bearing one and good for construction, to be used as well. Thank you. And God bless.